All right, Calcularians, welcome back to another episode. Today's theme is notation. So today's video is going to be quick and just giving you a little heads up about the type of notation we use for derivatives. Cool. I know, that's what I thought. So what we've seen before is we have a function f of x, and when we want to take the derivative, we note that as f prime of x. What I'm show, going to show you today is sometimes we call a function y. And when we call a function y, when we refer to the derivative, we just call it y prime. So hopefully that looks pretty easy. And it's smooth. And there goes the wind. Holy smokes! Now let's get back here. So, the other type of notation we use for the derivative is known as a differential. So we talk about a derivative is the limit as h goes to zero of the slope of the secant line. So you've seen we've taken our change in y over our change in x. So when we're referring to a differential in terms of our calculus, that change in y over change in x is written as dy dx. And this is representing a derivative. So what I mean by that, I can have f of x equals sine x and say f prime of x equals cosine x. Using the differential, what we say is d dx of sine x. So there are y is referring to y equals sine x. This notation here, using the differential to take the derivative of sine x, we would say this equals cosine x. So nothing to be really worried about. If this feels really funky, uh, we're going to just keep practicing it. But just know that if f of x is a function, the derivative is notated as f prime x. If y is a function, the derivative is y prime. Or if you see this differential, which is going to be really, really helpful for us when we move into the calculator, dy dx is just a way of saying, hey, take the derivative of sine x, you get cosine x. So let's just look at one more example. I can say d dx of 5x squared is equal to, well, what is the derivative of 5x squared? 10x. Or our shortcut, d dx of ax to the n power is a times n times x to the n minus 1. So what we're doing in these two examples is saying the derivative of 5x squared, so the derivative of a function with respect to x is 10x. The derivative of ax to the n is a times n times x to the n minus 1 power. Holy smokes! <laughs>